A recent breakthrough discovery just reported from fizz.org says that this will accelerate the arrival of controlled nuclear fusion energy on Earth, which, if true, would obviously be a game changer. This year has been the hottest year on record. We need something to happen very soon. Now, solar, wind, and batteries, they've been deployed really, really quickly, but there's a lot of countries still that are very much into fossil fuels. Something like this could potentially massively speed up the world's decarbonization. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking, and we're just about to hit 4,000 videos created over the past two and a half years since we started. I just want to say a big thank you to every one of you for being part of that journey. Researchers led by Chang Lu of PPPL have unveiled a promising revolutionary approach to mitigating damaging runaway electrons created by disruptions in tokamak fusion devices. Key to this approach was harnessing a unique type of plasma wave that bears the name of astrophysicist Hans Affen, a 1970 Nobel laureate. So how is this really relevant to what we're talking about, to nuclear fusion? Well, Affen waves have long been known to loosen the confinement of high energy particles in tokamak reactors allowing some to escape and reducing the efficiency of the donut-shaped devices. However, the new findings by Chang Lu and researchers at General Atomics, Columbia University, and PPPL uncovered beneficial results in the case of runaway electrons. So you might be thinking, well, what exactly is a tokamak machine? A tokamak machine is a machine that confines a plasma using magnetic fields in a donut shape that scientists call a torus. Fusion energy scientists believe that tokamaks are the leading plasma confinement concept for future fusion power plants. In other words, they are the key. They are the answer to the, the, the solution of fusion energy. Essentially, this is what we need to make fusion work. Scientists found that loosening can diffuse or scatter high energy electrons before they grow into avalanches that damage tokamak components. This process was determined to be remarkably circular. The runaways create instabilities that, that give rise to elf Venn waves that keep the avalanche from forming. In other words, stop it from being a problem. And you can, you can imagine what happens with nuclear fusion if it's a problem. It could can, can be disastrous. These discoveries provide a comprehensive explanation for the direct observation of elf Venn waves in disruption experiments, said Lou, a staff researcher at PPPL and lead author of the paper that details the results in physical review letters. The findings establish a distinct link between those modes and the generation of runaway electrons. Researchers derived a theory for the remarkable circularity of these interactions. The results aligned with runaways in experiments on the DIIID National Fusion Facility, a Department of Energy tokamak that General Atomics operates for the Office of Science. Tests of the theory proved positive on the summit supercomputer at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. In other words, this appears to be the solution to probably the biggest barrier to nuclear fusion. Chang Lu's work shows that the runaway electron population size can be controlled by instabilities driven by the runaway electrons themselves, said Felix Paradias. His research is very exciting because it might lead to tokamak designs that naturally mitigate runaway electron damage through inherent instabilities. Disruptions, they start with sharp drops in the million degree temperatures required for fusion reactions. For people who are unaware of this, for a fusion reaction to occur, it basically needs to be hotter than the surface of the sun. It's insane. Now these drops called thermal quenches release avalanches of runaways similar to earthquake produced landslides. Controlling disruptions stands as a paramount challenge to the success of fusion. Fusion reactions combine light elements in the form of plasma, the hot charged state of matter composed of free electrons and atomic nuclei called ions to release the vast energy that powers the sun and the stars. Mitigating the risk of disruptions and runaway electrons could thus provide a singular benefit for tokamak facilities designed to reproduce this fusion process that the sun is obviously going through on a constant basis. Mitigating the risk of disruptions and runaway electrons would thus provide a singular benefit for nuclear fusion designed to reproduce the process. 
The new approach will have implications for the advancement of ITER, which is the international tokamak under construction in France to demonstrate the practicality of fusion energy, and it could mark a key step in the development of fusion power plants. Our findings set the stage for creating fresh strategies to mitigate runaway electrons, Lou said. Now in the planning stage are experimental campaigns in which all three research centers aim to further develop the striking runaway findings. In other words, basically everyone worldwide has seen this information and it will change the direction of future nuclear fusion technology. Now, if for the first time ever, recently we have actually been able to create nuclear fusion that makes sense. I mean, nuclear fusion has been achieved but in the past, but it didn't really make sense because we weren't able to get more energy out of the fusion reaction that we were putting in. So it's not economically viable. But for the first time in the United States last year, that changed. And now we do have practical nuclear fusion. However, there's still barriers to actually commercializing this technology. This was one of them. It's now pretty much been solved. Now, I want to make it very clear. I don't really believe that nuclear fusion is the key answer to the world's energy needs. I believe it's complementary, nice to have, and it will certainly help us to accelerate renewable energy faster. But I think that ultimately we have the solution, and that is wind, solar, and battery power. Keep in mind, the cost of wind and solar and batteries has come down exponentially over the past decade. In fact, solar power has come down by over 90% in the last 15 years. Battery technology is coming down in price every single year. And we're now seeing an avalanche of battery, massive gigasized battery installations worldwide. In my opinion, that is the best solution. But nuclear fusion would be absolutely fascinating if we were to actually see a rollout, as is apparently proposed by numerous countries like France, Germany, and the United States, who all say we're on the cusp of something incredible. Now, let me know your thoughts on this, guys. Do you think I'm right? Do you think I'm wrong? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.